So uh, this is definitely not what you want <laughs> outside your hotel window. I would open the window, but it doesn't seem possible. But it's noisy. So uh, yeah, a little bit of ruckus going on out there. The window is just, it's just right there. It's, I, don't, I don't like the window at all. So there's that. The window is really low to the ground. Kind of creepy actually, these people and everything. I don't know that I like being on the bottom floor. Uh, here's the window. Uh, that's crappy lighting. There's the window right there in the floor. Uh, let's just go check it out. So, uh, see what I mean? Kind of creepy, huh? And I noticed too, that when you close down all the window blinds, uh, you basically become entrapped in a giant blue box. Let me show you what I mean. So not only did that kill the light in here, but now look, we're just in a big blue box. Without that window open, it does feel very closed in. But since the window is two feet from the bed and two feet off of the ground, you kind of want to have it closed at the same time. So there's that. Let's take a couple minutes to talk about the room. Uh, number one, it's a great room. Uh, it's brand new, everything is clean. Zero complaints as far as the look, the feel, uh, the newness, everything is great. You might have noticed a really loud noise. That's this guy here, Mr. Air Conditioner. And Mr. Air Conditioner blows right in your face when you sit at the desk. There's also no closet. The closet is right here. Let's check that out. Or really it's a pipe sticking out of a wall that you can hang a couple of things on. Not everything fit that I brought. I'm here for a week, so um, there's that. There's also no coffee. Um, for coffee, you have to go up front into the common area and get the coffee there. They have all the creamer and everything and it's open 24 hours and the coffee's always hot. So there's that. So, and I initially thought that there were no cups in the room either. I did end up finding one in the bathroom by the towels, but that was after two days of going up front to get cups from the common area. Uh, I guess they're just trying to be efficient and save things and all of that. Although I do miss a glass cup or a glass glass, I guess, uh, in a hotel room. There's just something about glass and that I like better than paper. So there's that. The cups also don't last very long. So it seems like just putting a couple of glass or air glasses in the room would be more efficient. Uh, this cup here, uh, I used for maybe two hours. I had two glasses of water over the course of two hours and it's just, it's, it's all ratted. You can poke your finger right through. And nobody wants to drink out of a cup with a hole in it. So there's that. This little guy, that little guy is the only chair in the room. So your choices are Small, somewhat comfortable, but not over long periods of time, not great back support little desk chair, or you can sit on bed A or bed B. Uh, bed A back here is my storage bed uh, where I throw all of my crap whenever I come in. It's usually covered in cameras and laptops and who knows. Uh, and bed B here, uh, bed B is for sleep. Uh, bed B has the best view of the television uh, and is closer to the air conditioner. So that's, that's, the, that's the logic. Uh, so here we are watching television from Bed B. You can see we get a great view of the television from this side of the room. Let's uh, move ourselves over to... Well, that lighting is bad. Move ourselves over here to Bed B. Move, here we go. We'll uh, move ourselves over here to bed B. Ah. 
and there's glare on the TV, the angle is wrong, uh, and we're really far away from the air conditioner way over there. So we don't stay very cool on this side of the room as compared to bed B over there. So bed A, storage. Uh, bed B, the place to be. So there's that. Under the bed, we're supposed to put our luggage. So I guess it fits, but then you can't get to it. And since there's no dresser, your bag is pretty much the dresser. So putting it under the bed is kind of pointless. So instead I stick it over here. Underneath our uh, counter here. There we go, luggage stowed. So there's that. I also feel extremely safe as far as fire risk. There are one, two, three separate smoke detector, alarm, and fire devices on the wall. So there's that. Is that poo on the wall? Let's check it out. I'm not real sure what that is on the wall right there, but I ain't touching it. So there's that. The app for the hotel is actually really good. My favorite feature, actually I should probably load the app before we talk about the favorite feature. Uh, here we go. My favorite feature is you can unlock your room and other doors with the app. Well, let's unlock my room. Here we go. The door is unlocked. That's pretty cool. And as you walk around the hotel, various doors and whatnot, uh, the app knows where you are in the hotel and it'll populate uh, front door or fitness center or any of the other doors, the pool, etc. Um, so there's that. Let's go play with the digital room key. So, focus. Here we go. From here, I can unlock my room, or what is that? Uh, the pool. We can unlock the pool from here. If I walk around the hotel, uh, the things I can unlock change, which is pretty cool. So let's test it out. Cool. So yeah, that's pretty fun to do. So while there may not be all that much room in the room itself, uh, the front day room area is actually pretty nice. Uh, and I could use a cup of coffee, so let's go take a look. Uh, so, <clears throat> yeah, just kidding. Not ripping anybody off. But this is good coffee. Even though you can't brew it in your room, you have to walk up the front. But we're gonna do some day room stuff. Um, we're gonna go show the day room and the pool, but I can't really do that right now. Uh, there's kids and families and stuff playing out there. Um, what time is it? It's uh, like 5.20 in the afternoon. Uh, so everybody's getting back from whatever they're doing. It's a Saturday, so people that are staying here are probably not staying here for business like I am. Yeah, so they're doing fun things like swimming and playing billiards and playing games and you know all that kind of stuff that they have available in the day room. So I'll try and get some B-roll shots of the day room after a little bit. But for right now, coffee and cartoons. So there's that. So. I tend to read things, like random things, all the time. It's just something that my mind does. When I see words, I read them. And when I have objects in my hand, then I typically play with them and mess around with them. And I found something strange about the remote control. Uh, let's see if we can get this 
zoomed in and focused here. Focus, focus, focus. Okay, let's try this another way. The remote has a toll-free number for a call center for support, but it says, except for Panama. So I have no idea why you can't, if you're in Panama, call that number for support. Um, if anybody is actually watching this video uh, and knows the answer to that question, uh, post it down there because I'm very curious and I don't want to Google it on my own. Um, yeah, so there's that. So we're, um, we're going to go uh, demonstrate the desk now. Desk step one. We have to pull the chair back. Ah. Desk step two, we sit down. That's hard to say. Desk step two, desk step two, de desk, de 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 de. desk step three. We pull out our little bench. So now I want to get up from the desk. So yeah, there's that. Not a whole lot of space. And let's see if we can get the camera back here. You are, uh, you're pretty much hemmed in when you're at the desk. So there's that. So I've stayed in the room for a couple of days now and kind of gotten the lay of the land. And I would call it tiny house living in a hotel room. Everything is small and economical and efficient and well, small or not existing. I'm actually gonna pace it off and see what our square footage is. We're gonna count from here uh, over to the window wall and uh, see how many feet it is, roughly, roughly how many feet it is because uh, I'm gonna be using my feet. Uh, so here we go. Here, we have one. 18. 18 and the air conditioner, we'll call it 19. That's the length for the width. I'll start here at the TV wall and we'll go to the bed wall and see how many that is. So here we go. We'll count this as one, two, eight. We'll, we'll, give, we'll give that nine. We'll call that nine just because of the little end table that's down here. Uh, although it is eating up the square footage, but that doesn't exist on the other side of the bed. So we'll call it 19 feet by nine. So let's go do some math. Okay, what did we say? Um, 19 by 9, I think we said. 19 times 8. It's 152 square feet. Okay, let's actually do the whole math with the bathroom because this is kind of tiny house numbers. So now I'm, now I'm curious. Now we're going to have to figure this out. So let's go do the bathroom. All right, here we are in the bathroom and we're going to do the same thing. One. Six, six and a half. Get the shower open. Starting at the toilet. One, two, three, four, five. And there's that creaking again. Six, we'll call it six and a quarter. So let's go do the math on that. Okay. So we had 152 square feet in the main, the main area, the bed area. Uh, in the bathroom, excluding the vanity and toilet, uh, was six and a half by, we'll call it six and a quarter. So that's another 40.625 square feet. And let's, let's add in our 150. So, that's 190.625, focus, 190.625 feet. Granted, I didn't count the vanity space or this countertop space. Um, I, did, I didn't count the air conditioner and I didn't count maybe two or three feet uh, or two feet or so of uh, bathroom space. Uh, but there's also some quirkiness and I didn't count that little vestibule either. But 190 square feet, I watch the tiny house shows and they generally run in the 
I've seen them as small as 150, but that's a tin can, uh, like an old Airstream or something. Uh, but they usually range in about the 250 to 325 square foot range. We're right at 200 square feet here, and if I throw in those little extra areas, then we may be at like 210, 215, somewhere in that neighborhood. Uh, so it's definitely, there's a lot of stuff in this room to be you know, 200 some odd square feet. Uh, it's, you know, as you're seeing, it's, it's organized well, uh, but um, it's definitely designed by millennials. Uh, and I don't mean that as a negative, so don't everybody go jumping, oh, Thomism hates millennials, blah, 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 blah. Uh, no, no, that's not the case. Um, it just, it has that feel, uh, that newer feel, that efficient feel, that modern feel that we're currently attributing to millennials in our culture. Uh, so that's what Thomism means by that. Uh, please don't post negative comments uh, if anybody even sees this video. But if you do and you're a millennial, good for you. Keep on trucking. Uh, pay your social security because uh, I'm gonna need it soon. So there's that. So in a tiny house, everything is multi-purpose because there's so little space, everything has to have a purpose. So down here, the air conditioner cover has a little cover on it, but you can also sit on it. It's not very comfortable, but you can sit here. So let's see what we can use the slide out desk for. I know it works as a desk. What else can we do? Let's go find out. Okay, here it's a desk. Here, it's a bedside table. Here, it's a um, uh, bed end table. I don't know. I don't know why we would put it there. In here, it's a toilet desk. So if you really, really have to go and you still need to get that email out, bathroom desk. Over here, it's just a desk again. Out here, it's a hall desk. And out here, it's a picnic table. So, multi-purpose, definitely. Uh, we should probably go take this back to the room now. And now it's back to being just a desk. So, true tiny house living in a hotel. So there's that. So, I think we're gonna go for a swim. So that's what we're doing.
it's uh, time to get out of the room and go get something to eat. Plus, uh, the neighbor right here next door is <laughs> boots and pants and boots and pants and boots and pants. And uh, I don't want to just, I don't want to hear a bunch of bass coming through my walls. So hopefully that's stopped by the time I get back from Chow. We're just gonna go somewhere close, probably um, just me for today. So that's what we're doing. Okay, so uh, those restaurants were no goes. Um, too many people, too much waiting. I just, I'm not gonna do that. So we're going to uh, we're gonna Uber Eats it. Food's been picked up. Once my tasty dinner gets here, then we will once again repurpose repurpose this table is a dinner table. So that's what we're doing. Three minutes till the food's here. It's almost here. My phone's ringing. Hello? Yeah, this is him. Okay, no, no, yeah, I'm in, uh, I'm in the true. Yeah, the Hilton. Yep, in room with a little nip. Okay, awesome, see you in a minute. He got a little lost, but he's almost here. It's here. How you doing? There you go, sir. You have a good one. You too. Mexican. All right, that was Thomas's version of the truth. So see you next time, and remember to like, subscribe, and all that good YouTube stuff.